George Bush was asked in an interview what his favourite book was as a child and he answered The Very Hungry Caterpillar and the journalist did the maths very quickly and realised that he was 16 when it came out. So it's something for everyone in The Very Hungry Caterpillar. Both the production and the puppets, the touchstone is Eric Carle himself, and so it was about immersing myself in his world, in his philosophies. Um, he has fantastic ideas about children and how they should interact with books and reading and literature and art. So inside the books themselves, they have, um, as Mr Seahorse drifted gently through the sea, he passed right by a stonefish hidden behind a rock. And so the game, um, when I read this for my nieces, it was quite beautiful that they were able to kind of, they knew that there was something magical behind there. They knew that there was something to find. And the ideas are reveals as sort of Theatre 101. So taking our lead from this and, and the games that he sets up inside the books um, to figure out how to stage it and how to create that relationship immediately with the audience. <laughs> We like to take puppets and styles and sort of um, mix them together. So we'll have some that are manipulated directly, we'll have some that are on the end of uh, control rods, we'll have some that are very large, some that are very small, and some that you know might even fall somewhere between a set piece and a prop and everything in between. These creatures that we've seen in books over and over again are real, they're alive, they're in front of us. And when a puppet does something that you recognize, you see that from your own experience, and it, it draws you into the story even more. You know, they're now characters and not just pictures in a book. What lends from the books to the show is just its color and its exuberance. The most wonderful little tiny fables that, uh, that, that doesn't necessarily teach you any lessons, but it teaches you an appreciation of color and movement and animals and curiosity and reading and creativity. And I think they're all the wonderful things that Eric has instilled in the books. And it's so wonderful to bring them to life. And this will be a show that everybody gets to see for the very, very first time. It'll be their first experience with uh, theater. So it's a wonderful opportunity. <laughs> really is come bringing it to life, sort of step beyond what the books can do.